everybody, you know, played Newfoundland and traditional Irish music first and foremost. And and, the, and most of that came from the lips of fellas like Ralph O'Brien. We had tremendous success with our albums and all that. But I always had in my mind, I always wanted to open a bar. So what I did in actual fact is I created a venue for the Sons of Aaron. Master and his men definitely played there. I uh, saw the punters there. Dermot O'Reilly and Fergus O'Byrne. The Calabara. The Irish Descendants. Aaron's pub was rocking. I don't think I ever had a dream to have my own pub. I always dreamed to have this pub. And uh, I got it. He was eager to sell it to us, where I know many other mind. people have offered him money for the pub over the years, and he, he declined. But he, want, he knew that we'd take care of his baby. We could open now if we wanted, if we were, people were stunned enough to go sit there in the middle of a shithole and, uh, and, and have a pint. St. John's has, a, has an energy about it that most places don't have. It has a sense of assuredness that most places don't have. And most of all, it has this music that's the lifeblood of the place. Aaron's was a funny little room that somehow managed to capture all of that. I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, Chris and Bob is taking it over because the music is going to live.